Welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, Army of Darkness, the role-playing game by Eden Studios. Folks, if ever there was a property that was begging to have a role-playing game made out of it, I think Army of Darkness is easily up there. This is one of these films that if you're a gamer, chances are you've seen it, chances are you own it, chances are you can quote from it extensively. If you want to know how this game runs, it is almost identical to the Buffy the Vampire Slayer role-playing game in terms of engine and mechanics. Go back and look at episode 17 to see how that works. There are very few things that make this different from the Buffy or Angel game. So let's go ahead and just detail what those are real quick to get it out of the way. There are some qualities that are specific for this. There is Big Chin, meaning your heroic leader type. There's also Schmuck, which means you're not too bright and you have trouble remembering things. The other big difference, other than stats for people like Ash, Sheila, and the Deadites, the other big difference from this and the other rules is this gives you a mass combat system. Because if you remember of Army of Darkness, they had that big fight at the end with the Deadites and the skeletons assaulting the castle, protect the book, protect the book, blah, blah, blah. This gives you a very nice, very workable mass combat system that's probably, a, it's a good addition for the Unisystem line. I won't lie to you, particularly if you want something like a sci-fi Unisystem or a fantasy Unisystem and you want to deal with big battles, this is a nice, nice approach to it. Now, there's sort of a strange thing about this particular book and this particular property. Each one of the three Evil Dead movies were owned by a different studio, and the company that gave the rights to Eden only gave them the rights for Army of Darkness. So they didn't they couldn't really extensively reference anything in Evil Dead or Evil Dead 2. That's okay. There was enough there in the background that they could get away with it. This book is written in a very tongue-in-cheek style. I highly recommend reading it just for the giggle points if you wanted to. It's written almost like Ash himself is reading it to you. And if there's ever been a highly a, a person who's who highly quoted around a game table, it's Ashley Williams. Honestly, I mean, groovy, come get some. How many of us have said that during a game? I know I have a couple times. This is a really nice game for a high, it's a really great game, for a high action, really exciting, bash the monster, fist cam kind of game. If you already have Angel and you already have Buffy, do you need this book? Well, like I said, there are a few differences. The mass combat rules are really good. Do you absolutely need it? No. Honestly, you don't. There's stuff You can piece together what you need, particularly if you have Angel. You can piece together what you need. But if, if you don't have any of the above-mentioned games, if you're a completist, if you love Army of Darkness, or if you just want a fun game of bashing undead, this is the approach for you. Read the example combats because they're a lot of fun. They are written from the point of view of the actors actually acting out a scene in game form. Bruce Campbell won't roll his own dice. He has his agent do it for him. It's a fun book. Get your hands on it if you're interested in sort of a different approach to undead stomping. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming.